Hey guys, Zach here, and today I'm gonna to be talking about a subject that is really uh, close to home and I know a lot of people do struggle with. Um, and it's basically, it's basically just around the subject of uh, the LGBT community and how people handle it nowadays, back a little bit, and hopefully into the future. Why is it that people are judged on who they love? I mean, it shouldn't matter if they love if it's a boy loving a boy or a girl, if it's a girl loving a boy or a girl, it just, it shouldn't matter. Love is love. Like in today's society, it has become more accepting towards the LGBT community, but it's still not as good as what it could be. There are still a lot of people that are shunned because of who they are. And then there's the other people who just make everyone feel like absolute and utter crap for being themselves. How would you feel if someone did this to you? Fuck it, fuck it. If you've been on the receiving end of this, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. In the end, all everyone is looking for is love. Someone who they can share secrets with. If I tell you, dude, Promise to keep it to yourself. Yeah, I promise. Can have fun. I'm real sad one way. I'm burning up a burning bay. Look at me without that face. Just look at me with eyes and way. For so long I can feel you there. Togetherness is all I care. And cause of you I'm standing here and I'm waiting. And someone to say what we want to hear. Mark. Yeah. Love you too. I cannot wait for the day where the LGBT community doesn't have to hide to be happy. So I just say to this rhythm, trying to feel And that no one looks at us in black and white. Even today, there are still some people who are leading very unfortunate lives. They get beaten. Don't have much money. And have consistent arguments with their parents. Mate, you're supposed to have something ready for fucking dinner. I've got to go to my mate's house to pick up a book for school. It's important, all right? For school. Oh, fuck, mate, you are fucking useless. You're just like your fucking mother. But even for those people, I can promise you, it does get better. Someone will turn up in your life and make you happy. And this goes for everyone in the LGBT community as well. If you don't think that you can be happy because of today's society, you're wrong. All you have to do is be yourself and you can be happy. All the clips that you've seen in today's video are actually out of a uh, indie Melbourne film, filmed by Lee Galea. That's how you pronounce it. Sorry if I got it wrong. Um, it's called Monster Pied. This video is actually a very good capture of what it was like in the 1990s for someone who was gay, someone who was different, and someone who just didn't fit in, per se. Um, you can go onto YouTube, search Monster Pies, and you can actually watch it on there for a small price. And Lee also has a Facebook page, and he films other movies. He does all of this and it's not very well known but this movie is absolutely beautiful. It literally captures, just captures this society's view perfectly. Also a quick shout out to a friend of mine, Josh Murdoch. He actually uh, has helped me out today by set, uh, letting me borrow his camera to film this. You can check out his Facebook page or his Twitter page. Uh, it's Joshua Murdoch. I'll put a link down in the description um, and he does not as much filming as what he used to, but he does do a, uh, photography, 
So if you look in the need of someone, he is very professional for his age, and I know he's not that well known, but he does a really good job at what he does. You can check out his Facebook page, and he has photos on there from uh, photo shoots in the past, and yeah. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you next time. If you enjoyed this, make sure you give it a thumbs up, rate, subscribe, all that jazz. See you next time.